Yo, what is guys? It's as the flame here bringing back to another daily video. Um, I had no idea what the hell to be uploading right now. I really did not. And then I found out Infinite Warfare. Well, it was like you know, give or take yesterday. But I found out today it actually hit one million dislikes. And I'm going to go on a rant about it because Battlefield came out as well for the trailer. And Battlefield, uh, CEO, well, some of the people you know working on it, some of the directors and stuff, were bashing out COD too. So. Here goes nothing without trying to do a take. Um, Infinite Warfare hits 1 million dislikes. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, they didn't listen to the community. Listen, they had fucking three years. They had three years to develop their caught. They didn't know it was going to be such a backlash. By the time they're already halfway through and they saw the backlash, it was already too late. They can't be scrapping another game. You know how much money they're already losing? Uh, they're not showing the sales numbers, although they're being rep... Uh, what is it? repeatedly asked i was gonna say repetitively asked but i guess it's kind of the same thing um they're being repeatedly asked to show the sales numbers though and they can't that's why they're doing the supply drops it's because they're losing so much damn money they can't just scrap a game randomly and say okay so we're gonna do uh, a dash here and make a game then we're gonna do another it's not like battlefield uh battlefield on the other hand it has such a long goddamn time for like splitting up the time zones and stuff I'm sure there are actually people in the Battlefield community, believe it or not, that do want to see more advanced, futuristic uh, Battlefield. Now, with me seeing World War One, I, I thought that was the most stupid idea ever. I think my personal idea would be seeing them go for Vietnam. Now, why Vietnam? Vietnam is such a diverse and, like, such a big-ass idea, or idea. What the hell am I saying? Idea to go and play. Like, Agent Orange, there's the Rolling Thunder, well, Operation Rolling Thunder. There's so much stuff you can go with it. Uh, a lot of different things. So, right off the bat, I'm already going to be, you know, a little bit about this. Because I was talking to some friends, and ooh, they, they irritated me. I don't normally get mad about stuff like this, but when it comes to COD and Battlefield... That is some of the most stupid things ever. You cannot compare two companies just because they can shoot guns with each other. You cannot. That's the only reason. Because IPs shoot guns together and it's a warlike scenario. With Call of Duty, they come year-round. Battlefield does not come year-round. Call of Duty makes millions upon millions of copies and sales and so on and so forth. So they have to keep on changing it and making it fresh so that they can actually reach that money, as I said previously. Um, and also, they're, like, they're close combat, like, Rambo stuff. Like, uh, do you guys remember Stonehaven from Ghost? Not a lot of people like that, because it was too big. No one likes big maps. If you're playing Call of Duty, apparently no one, like, I personally like it, because I'd go around on my thermal like I had originally. Uh, anyhow, like, go around the map and go and just, like, fight people. But people like to have action pace. That's what it's for. You want to go in for the kill streaks. That's why Battlefield doesn't have kill streaks. It's because it's more long range and it'll take much longer. Um, that's why there's also a, a delayed time when you die as well. You'll be sitting there for a few moments. Obviously, that kind of has it for COD too, but it's like, you know, give or take three seconds because of the kill cams and stuff. Um, also, one thing for me is I have a lot of friends that come over. I want to play, you know, a game with them. Call of Duty is a really good sit down and play with your friends game. That's why they have split screen, that's why they have zombies, that's why they have survival. Battlefield, the only real thing that it's known for being good at is multiplayer, if that, because all the vehicles and stuff. And there was vehicles in Call of Duty too, and it was actually really good. It was uh, the World at War ones. It's just, I think they had actually just like, just tanks. I think that was about it. That's the whole aspect they were going through. It was pretty big maps too, so I was okay. I cannot even express to you guys. How much fun it is to be able to actually play with friends, whereas in Battlefield, it's online friends. I have a lot of friends that come over once again, I said, uh, like split screen and bots and stuff. That's why I was really pissed off when Battlefront came out. That that was a f fucking flop, by the way, but we're not going to talk about that right now. Um, just, like, they were supposed to have bots in there. They even said they would be having bots and, like, split screen and all that stuff. That's how the original Battlefront was. They didn't fucking do that. They didn't listen at all. Um... Now, they can't be changing, for Call of Duty, when we go back to that, they can't be changing midway because, let's say, let's give the example for Infinite Warfare. Right in the middle of Call of Duty, they actually start development for Infinite Warfare. They start throwing around ideas, maybe a month later, they actually like, totally iron down, get to work. They did not see the backlash from Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3. 
That's why Advanced Warfare, uh, well, Sledgehammer, sorry, was the creative of Advanced Warfare. Is either going to make Advanced Warfare 2, which I'm seeing them not doing, or they're going to make a different game, something else. Like, even Activision CEO, he was talking about how you need something new and introducing. You can't be bringing in the same repetition, like how Modern Warfare was, Black Ops was... Well, Black Ops wasn't, but Modern Warfare was more of repetition. So, you need a fresh taste. You need to drive in more sales and give in a new audience. Like, that's how Black Ops 3 was introduced, too, is there's a lot bigger of a newer audience. Every single year, it gets up and up and up. And this year, with Infinite Warfare, there's going to be tons of sales. Not just because Modern Warfare, but because it's Call of Duty. Everybody's going to be playing it. Uh, there's thousands upon thousands more YouTubers who actually like play over COD. Because COD's such an easier game to, like, I don't know, get into and record and have a good old like game session of. Whereas with Battlefield, you can't really do that. I haven't seen a whole lot. I know there's like Jack Frags and Chaotic and... Well, Chaotic Boys HD. I can't remember how it goes. Um, but there's a few people like that. Level Cap Gaming. There's stuff like that. But, like, it's like Minecraft versus Terraria. Minecraft is so much more successful than Terraria. Um, also, Minecraft's been out longer, so that's not the best comparison. But, I mean, like, come on. Also, to bring up another thing about supply drops in comparison to Battlefield... With supply drops, once again, they were at a lackluster of money, so it was, yeah, it was, it was already a guarantee that was going to happen. Um, but what I really want to talk to you guys about is, why is there even a fight between Battlefield 1 and Infinite Warfare? Honestly, what everybody's really looking for is to go back to, like, Modern Warfare times. To, back, to go back to the OG. So, going, I think... Even World at or uh, sorry World War One is a really bad idea. I don't see anything eventful. It's gonna be like fucking crazy shit. Like you don't know what the fuck's going on. To me, that's one of the. It's like doing the Revolutionary War, or doing like the Civil War. It's like why? Someone brought up the introduction of why not go back to Civil War because there is so much less variation than there is now. They brought in a lot of this kind of stuff because it's changing history. It's not having to be forced behind a wall of history that you have to go by. Like with Black Ops, there is a lot of history going through that. Now they could also do alternate history. That's why they did this, kind of. So there's a flame in the mouth, though. Uh, this clip's about to run out. Peace, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm kind of done with this rant for the moment. If it gets any worse, I'll go back to it. But other than that... Peace, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, God. That was... Ooh. Bye-bye. There we go.